Welcome back. My next guest is Todd Aronson from our new addition to Clarkstown, the Atria Assisted Living Facility. Welcome, Todd. Thank you, George. Appreciate it. So, Todd, really happy to have you here. Atria has already um, uh, made a lot of efforts to become a part of our community. You're sponsoring our summer concert series, which unfortunately during to, uh, due to COVID was uh, postponed to this coming summer. But uh, uh, we're going to have a series of summer concerts that will be taking place in our uh, Landau Park. Uh, for lunch hour uh, and a couple of early evening ones as well. So we're delighted that Atria has uh, already, before you even opened up, agreed to become a sponsor and looking forward to that in 2021. But uh, Todd, maybe you could tell us a little bit about your background um, and about Atria in general, and then we could focus on the new facility that's opening up here in the city. Great. Well, thank you. First, thank you for having me today. It's, a, it's an honor to be here. Um, again, my name is Todd Irons. I'm the executive director at Atria New City. Um, I'm actually a, a Rockland County guy. I was uh, raised here in Spring Valley, so I'm very familiar with the area. Um, so it's real important for me to be involved in the community. So it's our pleasure to sponsor any events um, that happen in Clarkstown. You know, Atria is, uh, it's really important for us to be a part of the community. You mm -hmm. know, we're here in New City on Main Street. Um, Atria is a, a large company, a national company. We have about 225 communities in the United States in Canada. Uh, we're a management company. So what happens is um, owners develop a building and they hire Atria as a management company. Mm -hmm. And our job is to build the, the staff and the team and then create our policies and procedures to take care of the residents. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm excited. I've been working for Atria for about a year and a half now. I've been over in the trailer um, mm -hmm. for a long time. So we're excited to get into the building. Mm -hmm. uh, that's really, uh, it's an exciting time um, bringing in all the furniture and bringing all the equipment and uh, hiring the staff has been a real ex uh, pleasure to do for me. i um, been sitting in the trailer for so long. Right. So we uh, also, we appreciate um, your team and um, the, the planning board and all the, the building inspectors helping us get through to create a, a safe building. It's been right. a, a, an excellent experience working with the Clarkstown. Right, so um, just to set the stage for folks, you know, Atri is an assisted living, uh, also with a memory care unit component, uh, separate unit that's part of it. Um, it's a type of housing that we really need within our, our town and our community. Uh, again, uh, on prior shows, I've had conversations and we've had guests that have come in. And one of the things we're trying to do in, uh, in the town is make sure that we have a diversity of housing options. And uh, really, we just had the one assisted living facility that uh, uh, here within uh, the town and new city, Atri is now a new addition, uh, opening up um, you know, uh, shortly. So. Um, um, Maybe you could just talk a little bit about, um, I know it's located next to the new city post office and on the old horse farm property, but maybe you could talk a little bit about uh, the building itself and, and, and uh, the programs that you'll be offering there. Absolutely. It's a great location, the old horse farm um, right on Main Street. Um, what our owners did was they, they found a great property in a great area and we developed a, a wonderful assisted living. It's a three-story building. Um, and we wanted to make it feel like the old horse farm. So mm -hmm. a lot of the stuff inside the building, we repurposed some of the wood and we, we were a lot of the photos that we got from, from the previous owners and we're going to post those throughout the building. But our building is um, uh, 80 assisted living units, 56 of the units are for assisted living and 24 are our memory care unit. We call it life guidance. Mm -hmm. And what we'll try to do is uh, create an environment for and life guidance, we create an environment for residents that have some memory loss. They need a little bit more attention in a secure environment. It's an absolutely spectacular unit, excuse me, on the first floor. And we're real excited about that. So um, our 56 units... Yeah, and, and I was just struck by when, when uh, recently, um, um, you know, last month, um, I went uh, for a tour along with uh, the councilman for the area, Councilman Borelli, Jeff Gillies, our economic development uh, liaison as well and, and um, just absolutely impressed with the finishes and the, the attention to detail uh, and even what was really lovely was uh, you saved a couple of doors uh, that are actually part of I think the library area um, up on the second floor that um, were actually from the old horse barn and some of the wood uh, as well so you, you kind of pay um, deference to the history of the property but uh, I was really struck by the way and the care and the attention to the detail and what you did with that memory care unit because it's um, it's a little more secure um, so uh, it's you know kind of on the 
on the uh, on the main floor, and in a in a circular uh, circular area, there's a nice courtyard with it. You've got some beautiful uh, bird houses and, and outside and, and seating areas. Just absolutely, um, um, uh, you know, beautiful, uh, beautifully done. And, and um, it's great to see there'll be that type of program that will really offer that level of support for um, uh, for people that you know that are starting to experience a memory loss. But um, just one wonderful unit. But uh, the rest of the building. So there's 80 units altogether. Talk about some of the other uh, the other units in the in the building. Well, I appreciate the compliments. The memory care unit is going to be absolutely fantastic. Um, the other part of the building, um, we have 56 units. And what we, what we try to do is build different types of units. Some uh, two bedrooms, one bedrooms, and studios. So we can kind of price them at a different point so that each person can find out what type of unit they'd like and, and kind of mix and match. And so it's real important that they have, you know, some people are coming from a large house. So they like our larger units, our two, our two bedrooms, our one bedrooms. They like the space. A lot of ladies have a lot of stuff over the years, so right. having extra space is always important. But we also have some um, studios that are a little bit more cost effective so that people that can you know, kind of come in there and, and set themselves up in a studio. But the rooms are wonderful, but the common space is fabulous. And I know mm -hmm. you saw that yeah. we have on our third floor, we built this fabulous uh, sports lounge and our activity center connected. And it's going to be absolutely wonderful to um, sit there with the residents and go through, watch a game or watch, uh, watch some movies in there as well. Um, right around the corner from our sports sounds, we have our movie theater mm -hmm. where we could show movies. Um, we'd like to do a variety of movies um, in our activity schedule. Um, a lot of our residents like the older movies. We'll bring in some of the new movies. Of course, we have all the Netflix and all the different things right. that we can have a, you know, the community get together um, and spend some time in the theater. So the space is absolutely fabulous. You know, mm -hmm. our, our owners are Capital Seniors Housing and they really paid a lot of attention to detail, as you saw in the woodwork and everything they did. They felt this is their residence home and we need to make it feel really comfortable for, for them. So there's a little bit of, you know, uh, the artwork is connected to the, the farm as well as we have some nice fun stuff. As I said, the sports lounge, we, we have our New York Knicks and our New York Rangers and all our pictures of our, you know, our current New York sports team. So it's gonna be an exciting time. The residents have so much space you know, they have their rooms where they can set up themselves. Uh, a lot of times they bring their own furniture, so they set it up like their home, but the common space is fabulous. Mm -hmm. And I know I, I toured you through the dining room. Right. Our dining room is really special. Mm -hmm. um, we've got two great features that I love. One is outdoor seating. Mm -hmm. We've got some outdoor seating. Uh, not today with the snowstorm, but um, in the spring we'll be able to have the residents eat outside. Right. And what we have is one Atria's first um, demo kitchen, where we, ha we have a kitchen where the chef can do a, a demo, and we also have a TV where it's set up with a camera right. so all the residents can watch him do a demonstration. And you and I spoke a little bit about um, some of the local chefs in the yep. area mm -hmm. coming in and doing some demonstrations using right. that kitchen, you know, when, when the time's right. Yeah. You know, I know we have some We're restrictions, but... Very, very much looking forward to, to partnering uh, with you on that, and even potentially with this show. I can envision a, a way in which we can get our economic development coordinator to work with a couple of our local restaurants, maybe bring the chefs in that could uh, do something for your residents in your demo kitchen, and then we could potentially film it and then maybe um, use it as a way in which we can promote the restaurants and promote, uh, promote the town, you know, particularly uh, as we're coming out of the pandemic. So I'm very excited about that, that potential opportunity. And it's, it's unique because, um, you know, out of over 225 uh, of these um, uh, facilities across the country. This is the the first demo kitchen that you, in any of them, which is uh, you know we're we're really excited about that, and pleased that New City will be home to uh, an atria that has a very unique and, and new model and a new feature, which is really great. Yeah, we are excited about the demo demo kitchen. It's something where you know the residents come and they have their own recipes, so we'll be able to share their recipes with our chef. You know, mm -hmm. maybe the residents can get behind the demo kitchen and make their meatballs and, and show, show the chef a little something as well. So I think it's a great feature for the residents um, to kind of get to know, you know, their neighbors, mm -hmm. you know, through. And f food's a big part of what they do all day. You know, they come down for us three meals a day. We have a wonderful uh, culinary department. It's all our staff. Mm -hmm. You know, and a, a great part of, about coming into New City is we're going to bring in our, our cooks and our, our servers as well as, you know, our dishwashers, you know, so we'll have tons of new jobs. Mm -hmm. um, currently, right now, we're hiring 
um, probably about 40 to 50 new new jobs in, in New City. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a great part of uh, a new atrium opening up in an area. Well, absolutely. And, and I know we're, we're, we're running out of time, but I, I, um, I, I do just want to, again, thank you for your uh, volunteering right away. I mean, well before, I mean, you guys were, were barely into construction and you agreed to sponsor the summer concert series. And, and then with everything shutting down, obviously it's pushed into next year. But um, looking forward to having you guys come on out as uh, uh, we debut the summer concert series that uh, we've never had this before, but we're looking to do it in downtown New City. Then there'll be, um, um, you know, Thursdays or Fridays. Uh, we're still working out some of the logistics now after the pandemic. At our Landau Park, we'll have uh, uh, some uh, summer music, so people can come out from their offices, and you know they can come out from uh, their businesses, and and you know get together in a socially distant manner in Landau Park, bring their lunch, and and enjoy uh, enjoy some music that'll be sponsored by Atria. But uh, uh, again, the the assisted living model, it's really just uh, essentially it's a group of you know it's uh, folks that are looking to move out of their homes, um, they get some services that they can contract in. So there's uh, cleaning services and, and um, con you know, essentially concierge services, uh, food, what have you. Uh, you can kind of, um, you can go all in or you can just, you can purchase it as, you know, uh, as needed. Uh, and it's uh, an opportunity for people, they don't want the big house anymore. They, you know, they've got a, they raise their kids and they're looking to, to kind of stay within the community. And now this is a brand new option with a, a brand new state-of-the-art facility. Um, if somebody wants to learn more about Atria, how do they get in touch with you and how do they, how do they uh, get to be able to come on over and take a tour? You're absolutely right. This is a great opportunity for residents who are moving out of their home. And it, it's our staff that's going to help them get through this process. Um, they can stop by the, you know, we've, we're just about open, mm -hmm. you know, and, and we... Um, in January, we, we put in our license with the Department of Health to get our licensure, so we're hoping to open mid-January. Mm -hmm. But they can either go to atria, atrianewcity.com or they can come by and, and stop by and we can take them on a quick tour or we can do a virtual tour. We've really set up really nice where it's safe. When, when someone comes in, we do the temperature and the screening, so they're very comfortable. Um, and our, our, our staff is COVID tested every week. So we go through the processes. One nice thing about Atria through this pandemic is they've been ahead of the game. Mm -hmm. You know, we've had all the PPE we need. Um, so, so they make sure that we have what we need. We've, we have the testing weekly as part of the Department of Health as well as part of Atria standards. But they can come by the trailer or they can call my cell phone at 845-304-5254 uh, and I can set up a time for them to come over or right. we can do virtually. So right. I do appreciate you letting us come on today as well as sponsoring. A big part of us coming to the Clarkstown area is being part of the community. So mm -hmm. it's our honor to, to help out as, as anytime we can. I appreciate it, Todd, and look forward to a great longstanding relationship with the town and really look forward to um, you know, the opportunity for 80 residents to be able to move in to, you know, right, right next to the post office. Very convenient, downtown New City. We really tried to make a walkable community. There's a lot of amenities uh, in downtown New City. And a lot of amenities in Clarkstown. I mean, we have a lot to offer, but now having uh, another assisted living facility, the second within the town, and this is state-of-the-art brand new facility. Uh, looking forward, the 80 lucky residents are going to be able to, to be moving in as soon as um, as soon as this month. So uh, thanks so much, Todd, for being a great guest. Welcome to the town, you know, uh, to Atria, and we look forward to working with you for very many years to come. Thank you, and have a safe and happy holidays. Thanks so much. Stay tuned, we'll be right back.